it is a real pleasure being here, also being uh, just, just uh, watching with the list of participants, and we have several colleagues of the quantum technologies family here present today. So as I was well introduced, I am the coordinator of the Quantum Community Network Office. Uh, that is one of the three governing bodies of the quantum flagship. And we have uh, an office in Brussels. And I would like to present you uh, one initiative we are launching that hopefully will end with the creation of a quantum industry consortium for Europe. I am trying to, okay. Yes. So, well, the quantum flagship, uh, I'm sure that doesn't need a lot of presentation. You know that the kickoff was launched in October 2018. That involves more than 2,000 experts. It's a program that um, includes 1 billion euros expenditure for the next 10 years uh, for project, different projects in quantum technologies. Uh, the ramp-up phase that it's been now uh, happening uh, includes 152 million euros, uh, and from the 141 proposals, there were selected 20 projects. I'm having some problem for having the transition of the slides, but in any case, uh, these 20 projects, uh, they are distributed among the five pillars uh, of the quantum flagship that I will summarize in a quantum communication, simulation, sensing, and metrology, computing, as well as a transversal pillar in basic science. I will, yes. The quantum flagship has a governance model that includes three governing bodies. One is the quantum community network, that is the one and the one that I belong. Then the strategic advisory board that I see some uh, uh, from this governing body that is participating now in the um, in this, uh, webinar, as well as the science and engineering board that is made, that is created by the coordinators of the 20 different quantum flexible projects. And the three governing bodies, of course, they have a close interaction between them as well as with the Board of Funders and the European Commission. There is a coordination and support action that coordinates all the three governing bodies and ensures that the, uh, all the activities are very well made. The quantum community network, uh, it is a network that involves or includes uh, um, uh, the national experts in quantum technologies. There is one uh, national representative of this uh, of the quantum technology community in in their countries. Um, there is uh, here I, I said that there are each member state or associated country has two representatives, one uh, main representative, let's say, and one deputy representative. Uh, as I see here, uh, most of us were Spanish. Our representative in the quantum community network is uh, uh, Professor Antonio Thing from, from ITCO, and the deputy uh, is uh, Juan Garcia Ripoll from TESIC in Madrid. The quantum community network is chaired by Professor Tomaso Calarco, that I'm sure that most of you know very well uh, because he's the person that is typically um, running the show when when any conference in quantum technologies in Europe. So who we are in the office in Brussels, it's basically myself and Ms. Monica Constantine that most of, uh, many of you have interacted with already. Some of the activities we do in the Brussels office are daily interaction with the EU institutions, organizing meetings with uh, members of the European Parliament. This is uh, a very important activity because as you know, um, uh, in terms of budget, ensuring the budget, the MEPs are crucial to, um, to endorse uh, the proposals for the budget. And the budget commitments uh, are, are something that we need to explain very well to, to them. Uh, at the moment, we are organizing four different activities involving MEPs at different levels. 
um, not only for explaining the quantum flagship, also for explaining the transition to the programs in the European Union that I will I will explain later. Uh, of course, from the quantum flags, uh, from the quantum community network office in Brussels, we also do the coordination and daily operations of the QCN, the quantum community network the QCN, um, as well as we support the creation of new networks uh, uh, relevant for the quantum flagship. Uh, always with the objective of deepening the footprint of the quantum flagship and ensuring the transformation of projects into programs. As I said, this example is uh, the transition from the quantum flagship to the Digital Europe program. Uh, here I want to represent this transition from the basic research, as you can see. Uh, can you see my, my, my pointer? Yes. Yes, okay. Enrique. Very good. Uh, here, uh, uh, the transition I want to represent is from a more basic science, okay, then later we have the, the quantum flagship that still is research. Um, we, uh, we have had the Horizon, Euro, uh, Horizon 2020, still we are in the Horizon 2020 program. We will begin the Horizon Europe program in 2021, uh, okay. And from the technologies that uh, they will be created during the quantum flagship period and the increase of the TRL, we hope to be able to create these three infrastructures that I'm mentioning here, the European Ecology Network for Quantum Technologies, the Quantum Communication Infrastructure that most of you know and some of you are involved on that, and the future quantum computing and simulation infrastructure that as you see are outside of Horizon Europe, they, they are already in the Digital Europe program. Okay, so here I just want to put an example of the, these infrastructures. That is the one that is more, uh, is more consolidated, the quantum communication infrastructure. Uh, it will integrate a quantum cryptography into critical communication systems, um, providing protection of data networks, uh, clock synchronization, etc. It will combine a uh, terrestrial network uh, and uh, satellite components for wide uh, coverage, uh, and hopefully it will be the backbone infrastructure for the quantum internet. Okay, so this inside of the quantum flexible commitment of uh, providing good standards and regulation, oh, sorry, uh, and as well as a good technology transfer and a st a startup support. Um, in the, the industry working group of the quantum community network, as well as the uh, flexible coordination office and the European Commission will organize in the September 9th, uh, a workshop on the analysis of the market perspectives of the quantum technology industry in Europe and the future actions to take. Uh, it will happen, uh, initially it was planned for June, but due to the coronavirus outbreak, it, it has been, um, still is a tentative date uh, for September the 9th. Uh, but um, just having conversation with the European Commission, the, we have availability for uh, bigger rooms in this uh, date. Uh, it will happen in the European Commission premises in Europe. The objective of this uh, workshop will be to exchange in views on the current landscape of quantum technologies in Europe, as well as assessing the current and future market perspectives of the quantum technologies in Europe and fostering uh, of a unified strategy for standardization of quantum technologies in Europe. Okay, uh, this workshop will be addressed to private companies, only for private companies, so known academia, RTOs, etc., only for private companies that have stakes or are generally interested in quantum technology. Some of the examples could be quantum hardware or software companies, engineering companies uh, involving transport, aerospace, security, defense, or also end users 
of quantum technologies, that could be banks or hospitals or pharmaceutical companies, as well as consultancy companies, uh, health hunters, etc. Um, so this is an example uh, what, like the tentative agenda that will have uh, this uh, workshop. Okay, I just reproduce what will be the, the, the main parts, the perspective of the quantum technologies in Europe and worldwide. Uh, we uh, will have the pleasure to come with a presentation from Carlos Abrellán from QSI that will participate in, in this uh, workshop as well. There will be one part in standard, standardization in quantum technologies. As you may know, standardization is elements uh, that still there is not a, uh, there is not a standardized, um, there are no standards worldwide at the moment. Uh, so Europe has a need to push for standardizations for the, for the standards that are interesting for our industry. And there will be later an open floor discussion uh, in how to create a integrated quantum industry ecosystem in Europe in the next decade. Yeah, of course, as well as the concluding remarks and a networking cocktail that it's always nice to have. So um, this is a player for you to participate. Uh, any company that would like to participate, please contact us. Uh, I'm, I'm putting here my contact details. Um, I will also put in the chat my Spanish phone number, which uh, of course you can, you can call me as well. Um, so uh, please, um, we are happy to receive your your emails for participating in this workshop. Uh, I have to say that all the invitations we will send, uh, they will be sent by the European Commission. So I am collecting all the, in the well, in the Office of Brussels, we are collecting all the names of all the companies interested in participating. Um, probably there will be some restrictions of participation due to nationality, but that will be in any case mm, depending on the European Commission. Um, so, yeah, basically that's it. And then I hope that this talk has been interesting for you, and I'm totally open for the questions you may have. Okay, thank you very much, Enrique. Very, very interesting. And all of you who have uh, questions for, for Enrique, you can write down them to, to the chat. Uh, and I will, I will ask him directly. We don't have uh, any question now. Enrique, uh, from, from my side, uh, yes. how, how can people do uh, to uh, get an invitation for, for the workshop? Uh, Sending an email to you? Yes, uh, directly sending an email to me, uh, including the main details of uh, your company, like uh, name, nationality, uh, field of activity, and uh, contact person. I mean, it's a very, very simple. Um, yeah. So we, we already have a, a list of about 300 companies with presence in Europe. Uh, in, from a very different fields. I mean, uh, at the end, quantum technologies are in one way or the other interesting for, the com uh, for these companies. Some of them are highly involved uh, already in, in projects in the quantum flagship. Some others, they just really want to join. Uh, some, uh, they would like to join uh, future projects on, on the quantum flagship or they, they are end users and they are banks and they want to uh, include one additional layer of security of their data with the quantum technologies or they don't know exactly if they will be interested or not. But this interest is uh, enough uh, for us to say, please, uh, Enrique, I'm, I'm interested in participating. We do this, we do that. So please, we're we're completely open to uh, to receive your just an email with um, with your names and contact details and that's basically everything. And we will pass the list to the European Commission and they uh, they will do the the final selection. Okay, Enrique, we have a question from uh, 
Kankel, he, he asks, uh, is there access to SME and or startups to, to, the, to the workshop? The answer is yes. Okay. And uh, another question he is doing is uh, the contact point persons mentioned at ICFO and CESIC. Excuse me? He, he's asking about, or she, I, I don't know, uh, about the contact point persons mentioned at ICFO and CESIC. Ah, okay. Well, um, that was because I was, the, um, I was naming the, uh, mem the Spanish members of the quantum community network. As I said, they are uh, Professor Antonio Asin from ICFO uh, and uh, Professor uh, Juanjo Arcia Ripoll from ASIC in Madrid. Okay, perfect. Another question from Najwa. She says, uh, hi Enrique, what are the nationalities re restrictions for attending the workshop on the 9th of September? Are there nationality restrictions? The, uh, at the moment, there are no nationality restrictions. Um, uh, so that that is something that if there there is any, uh, there will be the European Commission. But at the moment, uh, from the quantum flagship, we are we are not making any any nationality restriction. Okay, thank you. Um, Himanshu, Jani. He says, I'm from India. Can I join then? Yes. <laughs> uh, in, um, in, a, in your personal capacity of representing a person, no. If you represent a, a company, startup, corporation, etc., please write me an email. Okay. Najwa asks more specifically, are companies from the UK welcome to participate? Uh, yes, please send me an email. The, well, actually, we have in our list a lot of UK companies. Okay, and Gankel asks, thank you, uh, say thank you, uh, which is the CDT uh, contact point uh, linked to quantum technology? Um, as far as I know, there is not a specific said, um, contact point for quantum technologies. Let's say only for quantum technologies. There is um, there is one, I believe, for key technologies. At the moment, I don't have this information, but since uh, my um, yeah um, Monica Constantine is also present in the call, so we will try to get the information. So please, um, uh, the person that has made me this question, please write me an email. We will find the answer and we will get back to you with the answer as soon as possible. Okay, another question is, uh, would it be possible to follow the meeting on, on September by webinar? By in, principle, in principle, yes. Okay. Um, at this moment, uh, one of the challenges we have to deal with is um, how big will be the participation. As I said, uh, at the moment, we have more than 300 companies in our list. Um, we hope to increase this number, and then later um, we will send invitation. But I don't think we will have a room for 400 people, okay, inside of the European Commission premises. Uh, so with this, yes, we will facilitate um, a, a, an online uh, access. But okay. again, this, uh, this will be restricted to uh, the people that has been invited. So it's okay. not, not going to be a public event. It's going to be a private event. Okay. Thank you very much, Enrique. Then, no more questions. Okay. Thank you, Enrique. Very clear presentation. 